What's good, fam? Hope you all are doing good. So it is Sunday night, and to kick off tonight's shave, I thought I'd break out some yingling. Yeah, just trying to unwind um, end of the week before this uh, upcoming week comes. Thought I'd pop open a beer. Uh, so for the razor, we'll be using the Paradigm Diamondback with a feather blade. I felt, uh, well, like, I think my, uh, my theory is, so I don't really like feather blades. They're a little, they tend to, they tend to give me irritation. I get very little blade feel on this razor, but it's still very efficient. I want to see if the feather will take it up a notch. We'll see. So for the soap, we'll be going with, uh, an artisan soap I've never used before. And this is Delmar Boulevard. Sorry, you can see the reflection. Yeah, that goes to show it's a shiny label. <laughs> there you go. Um, this is really cool artwork, man. This is badass. Look at this. Um, DK did a shave on this, like, uh, probably less than two weeks ago. I watched it. Pretty cool video. Um, hopefully, I remember to drop that in the link below, uh, in the description below. But um, this is from First Line Shave, and I've never actually tried them before. And um, this is also in their 3.0 base. So not only uh, am I trying a new artisan, but I'm trying their all new base. So no pre-shave today. <clears throat> so for the brush, we'll be going with the uh, Declaration Grooming B7. I thought it matched well with the artwork color-wise, somewhat. I don't know, it's my favorite brush. I don't need an excuse to, uh, <laughs> to use it, honestly. All right, we're gonna load before we get too far into the video. All right, we'll do like 30 seconds. Yeah, so this isn't too soft of a soap. Yeah. I'm really liking the scent so far. It's pretty good. Um, it is a cologne dupe of the scent, I believe it's called Bleecker Street of the, yeah, the cologne. Never smelled it before until this. This actually kind of reminds me of another soap I have, like a soap scent, but I can't even wrap my finger around it. Okay, that's 30 seconds. I have no idea what scent it is. And today we're gonna slowly add incrementally uh, water because I want to get it dialed in right. So sorry if I take too long to lather. We'll see how it goes. Um, for this, for those of you guys who don't know, um, it seems like I take my time on camera with lathers, but <laughs> you should see me off camera. <laughs> I, I really take my time dial it in. Actually, it really depends. Like if it's something I've used many times, I kind of know how it's gonna, how it's you know how to dial it in quicker because I know how much water it normally likes. With something new like this. I kind of take it slow. So yeah, so we'll see how it goes. So far, it feels pretty slick on the hands. This is such a pleasant scent. I like it. Um, it's like sophisticated and sweet. It's very, uh, like it's not too sweet. It's very unoffensive, which I find most colognes to be, at least most of the popular ones, you know? <sighs> like it's, uh, yeah, unless it's like super sweet or super dark, you know, it, like it's a safe scent. I'll just say that. DK seemed to like it. Um, yeah, also I wanted to say a special shout out, special thanks to both DK and Ken, because I actually bought this off uh, Ken at Shave326. Yeah, let's play that brush. I bought this off Ken because he bought DK a backup set, and DK ended up being able to grab a set, so which made it available for me to get off him, uh, which is awesome. So thanks both. DK and Ken, I guess, because I've been wanting to try this uh, artisan. Um, yeah, so far seems to be taking the water. So far, yeah. So uh, let me go over the ingredients real quick. Um, 
So what do we have? Oh, hold on, let me add some water. While I do this. So we have stearic acid, goat's milk, aloe vera, juice, peeve tallow, glycerin, unrefined African shea butter. Interesting. Potassium hydroxide, castor oil, cocoa butter, apricot oil, jojoba oil, organic and metal foam oil, sweet almond oil, xanthan gum, which I love. Um, Will from Barrister and Man introduced that ingredient in his Excelsior Breeze, and a lot of the, a lot of other artisans copied him, which I'm happy about because it's good stuff. Fragrance oil, Capacu butter, which you might recognize from the CK6 base, unrefined cocoa butter, sodium hydroxide, silk amino acids, clay. Mm, clay. It's low on the list, so I don't mind silk. Silk is good if it's a low on the list. Noble Otter uses uh, silk. Uh, sodium lactate and vitamin E, which is good for the skin. Pretty solid. Um, no coconut oil? I like it. I like it. All right, where are we at with this lather? It's a little airy. I probably uh, should have added more water sooner. Let's see. Doesn't feel too heavy on the face. I like it so far. Seems easy enough to lather. I don't think I've ever had a soap that's like super hard to lather. Let me think. Um, there's definitely ones that have been harder to lather than others. But nothing pops out of my head right now. Um, yeah, most soaps are easy. I think. Alright, we'll leave it like this for now. Because I'll probably add water on the second pass. And we're good to go. Yeah, so it's Chloe's scent. It's pretty nice. I don't know if I'd jump out and get the EDP, but I could see why many others would. Yeah, it's good stuff. Alright, give me a second. Alright, first pass on the Paradigm Diamondback Feather Blade. It tames the Feather Blade, guys. Slickness is good. Residual slickness is good. Damn, it tames the feather blade, dude. Not many razors do that to me. I've tried a ton, man, and some have still given me irritation. Well, the true test will be on the neck. We'll see. Marion posted his last video in his den today. I didn't get to finish it. But, uh, Marion, cheers to new beginnings, bro. Dude, this, this razor is butter smooth. Like, one of the smoothest razors I've ever used. When I say smooth, I just mean it's like... Just no resistance on the skin, very little bleed feel, enough to know that it's there. Not much shortage in efficiency at all. Just, uh, just a real pleasure to use. I was really uh, fortunate to be able to grab this. All right, first pass, pretty good. When I used to dip the water, the brush in the water, I was able to produce my lather way quicker, which I kind of miss. But I use distilled water, so I found this is probably the most efficient way for me to do it. So yeah. Yeah, so the scent notes on this, the top notes are violet leaf, blueberry, 
which I do pick up. Oh, very good. When I saw blueberry, I was like, I had to pick this up. I was like, how many scents do you have you tried that uh, has blueberry in it? Not many. <laughs> sorry, dude. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm just, this handle is getting wet. It drives me nuts. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. Middle notes are cedarwood, sweet, fruity jasmine, peppery vanilla cinnamon. Like, I don't know if you guys are hearing these notes, but they sound awesome. Uh, base notes are oak moss, suede, patchouli, amber, warm and sweet vanilla. I definitely get the warm and sweet vanilla. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't get a ton of notes from this, but that doesn't mean anything positive or negative. It's just, it's just well blended. Um, yeah, and I like, you know, my nose can't always discern things. Doesn't make this scent any less enjoyable. But uh, anyways, I, I do get the sweet, orange sweet vanilla, the jasmine, vanilla, cinnamon, and the blueberry. I don't get, I don't know if I get the thyme, oak moss, patchouli, all that, but it, I like it. I don't know, man, I, I, have you guys, how do you guys feel about uh, cologne dupes? Do you guys like them? Because when I first got into uh, wet shaving, I was into barbershops, and I think a lot of noobs are, like people, not noobs, um, people are trying to get into the, the hobby or trying out new scents. They associate, uh, damn, this is so freaking smooth. I haven't used this razor in a while. And with the feather, it just slices the hair off. Jeez. Expect a comparison against the Titanium 2. Coming up probably next week. Hopefully I remember to do that. Uh, I lost track of train of thought. Yeah, a lot of people, they start with barbershop scents, I think. I mean, I did. It feels safe. And then as I explored some more stuff, um, like me, I started with Will, Barrister and Man, um, Sterling. I explored their scents. So Will... Uh, he makes very complex sense most of the time, so it was kind of a little much for me, uh, just starting out, you know, a little complex, um, and sometimes you don't appreciate that, sometimes you do. Anyways, um, yeah, and then, um, so, like, I was like, I'm not getting cologne dudes, like, I'm like, I want to try like unique, uh, original scents, you know? And then like just recently, I guess the last few months, I'm kind of into cologne dupes. Like I refuse to try an Aventus scent for God knows like months and months and months. Next thing you know, I'm like, I'm curious to try like almost like a bunch of Aventus scents. Still picky, but I'm like more open to it. Um, I think it just happens when I, when I pick up a, a soap scent and I don't realize it's a dupe till after the fact. And I'm like, oh, damn. Now it's like, oh, where can I get this ED, like this EDP, you know? But yeah. Especially if you're going to like an event or something. And you just want to, you know, you don't want like, you don't want to smell like uh, fruits, something super gourmandish. You know what I'm saying? I hope I was able to convey my point clearly. Kind of blabbering. All right. Hmm. Is this smoother than the hybrid? The Dachi? I don't know. It reminds me of it. Different feel on the face. That late, that razor is so light. All right, where are we at? Oh, we got some more here. So yeah, so the residual slickness is pretty good on the soap. I'd say it's, uh, my initial thoughts is it's above average, just beneath elite. 
and it's not a knock on the soap it's, it's really good so far i'm impressed ingredients are solid um yeah i mean this is just my opinion hold on i'm trying to get that bbs finished you know what i'm saying got a feel for it okay cool i feel like i underloaded i don't know lather's pretty thin Or maybe added too much water. Wasn't a problem for the soap though. Seems to be doing well. I don't know what to do, man. I have I have this cool brush collection and I just want to use my top three. You guys uh, have like a few brushes in your den by any chance, and you just like you just want to reach for your favorite all the time. Like, why use anything less? So I don't know. That's like the, the thing I'm struggling with right now. And this is my favorite brush. Just does it. So yeah, this is a super smooth razor. It's efficient, but I find myself buffing a little bit more than I feel like I need to. Um, so yeah, very efficient, very smooth, but um, like way smoother than the carbon. Uh, no comparison. Um, I uh, What am I trying to compare it to in efficiency? Uh, I'd say on par with the Game Changer 0.84, maybe. And maybe I put that uh, 8.4 just under the level 2. Something like that. Alright, let me rinse off, guys. Give me a second. And to uh, kind of sum up the soap, I don't pick up anything besides the, uh, the thyme. Do I pick up the thyme? Blueberry. Sweet, warm, vanilla, and cinnamon. That's what I get, guys. <clears throat> Where's my splash? I don't know. I have to find it. I watched uh, Corey's video this morning um, on the Black Eagle HT1. And that thing looks badass, dude. I kind of want one now, but it's like unobtainium as hell um the chances of me getting that is slim to none um and that's okay <laughs> that's fine like you know what i mean it's not like so much good stuff out there but it was a cool video and um i'm a big fan of blackland razors i don't know if you guys know um i have the utmost respect for that artisan shane he was very innovative in creating that uh, Blackland Vector. The dart was a great value. Is a great value. For what you're getting. Basically his whole lineup is like pretty awesome. And I never tried the Blackbird and he tried it out today or he went back to it. And I thought it was a cool video. I thought it was cool how like he talked about his progression. Um, so what was originally like too aggressive for him, um, like, you know, too much blade feel, very uncomfortable for him eight months ago is now more comfortable for him later. Um, and I thought, I thought that was pretty cool because opinions and our experiences within this journey, they change. Um, some people, they start off like an aggressive razors and they go, end up going to mild and vice versa. Typically, you'll see people go from mild to aggressive, but I, I kind of like mid-aggressive. I don't like super aggressive, like in between balance. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm going to apply the uh, wound soap bomb here. Unscented. Sorry, cut it off. Cool. Apply some water. Give me a second, guys. Let me find that splash. 
Oh. The reason why I didn't get this soap set earlier is because the splash was sold out. Look at this bottle, dude. It's, it's this is don't worry, this is not the uh, liquid contents, it's the color of the glass bottle. So let's give this a shot. Actually, let's look at the ingredients. Aloe vera, juice, alcohol, rose hydrosol, vegetable glycerin, calendula, hydrosol, chamomile, yarrow hydrosol, a lot of hydrosol, <laughs> hydrolyzed oat protein, nice, comfrey, hydrosol, <laughs> green tea, vitamin E, shake well. Cool. Let's try it out. Ooh, that's awesome. Let's see how bad the burn is. Okay, guys. This scent smells way better in the splash. Almost every time it does, but sometimes um, the scent really shows in the soap. Not always, because you have to cover it over the soap base. Give me a second. I gotta puff up real quick. Sorry for the longer video, guys. Um, yeah, awesome. It didn't feel too harsh at all. It smells fantastic. Like, throughout the video, I wasn't impressed with the soap, with the soap scent. Like, I was like, okay, and then I smelled this. I was like, damn, it smells freaking awesome. So yeah, that was Del Mar Boulevard, Declaration B7, Paradigm Diamondback. Um, thanks again for watching, guys. Um, hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good week.